My name is Victor Salas, and I'm with Architectural Interiors. Uh, I've been in business 45, 46 years, and uh, I, I've started restoring since I was six, seven years old. I don't know how much I did when I was six, seven years old, but uh, I used to help my father, my grandfather, my uncles, and they used to do a lot of restoration, a lot of remodeling, a lot of building uh, here in San Antonio, and uh, then uh, I got to work with them in Mexico also when I go on vacations. And uh, I learned woodworking on my father's side. I learned metalworking on my mother's side. And I learned best of both worlds here. And uh, I studied architecture. I studied engineering. I didn't finish engineering. I did finish architecture, but I'm not really accredited to do architecture. And uh, so I use my, 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 my craft in, in, into a, in, in, within what I'm doing now. And uh, here in San Antonio, I've, I've been restoring uh, I started restoring these places, this, this area right here, in fact, in 68 when they did Hemisphere. And then uh, I started uh, doing uh, uh, King William, and uh, uh, we, we worked at the uh, Alamo. Uh, my, my dad worked at the Alamo, and then I got to work in the Alamo also doing my own work. And uh, I've worked in all the missions. We just finished the last mission, uh, I think San Juan. And we did the woodwork and metalwork in that one. And we do a lot of, we do a lot, we've done a lot of furniture, a lot of uh, altars, ambos. Uh, also, the ones for the Pope when he visited, we got to do two sets for him. And uh, right here, we're working hard on getting this house restored, the windows on this house restored. These are some of the first well built houses that, that were here, built here in, in San Antonio, uh, I guess when they started settling it. And uh, they, they've been around for quite a few years. And as you can see, they've held up. To the to the weather so it's just a matter of time before uh you know it, it, they take maintenance anytime you have wood stone and you're on black dirt you have maintenance uh, they're ready for stabilization they're ready for pointing they're ready for uh restoring the wood and uh wood needs to be maintained on a regular basis painted every two years three years oil base is probably one of the best things to use nowadays there's other paints that work uh, uh, we're restoring the first floor windows and uh, we're working on uh, uh, cleaning them up, fixing them, uh, putting new glass as needed. Uh, we're trying to replace it. We're trying not to replace too many pieces, but uh, we, we'd like to get them back to where they're uh, back to original as, as close as possible to original with some of the new pieces and painting them. And uh, we have uh, the students from uh, University of Texas and from uh, San Antonio College working, helping us. And uh, it's, a, it's a citywide project for the benefit of the city. With, with the Office of Historic Preservation, we've worked on, uh, on a little bit of leveling, a little bit of straightening out, uh, bracing, uh, replacing exteriors, replacing porches, replacing the beams, uh, uh, putting uh, some special trusses in between, uh, moving windows, putting windows back in, and uh, I mean, just a little bit of everything, and uh, trying to help the poor neighborhood, preferably. See, every project's a favorite because every project's very unique. But projects like this are really very rewarding when you finish them. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an honor to work on them, you know, because I got to work on them yeah, in 68, and I'm getting to work on them again, so that's, that's pretty good. But uh, working on a lot of the old historical stuff is really also very important. Historic preservation is a very important part of, uh, I guess, of, of our city. Uh, it is because of everything that we have here that's very unique that uh, people come to San Antonio. Uh, the, uh, the craftsmen that build these places spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of uh, knowledge they, that they put into them to make them what they are. It's like, if you really look around, there's nothing that's been invented that's different from what you see here today. I've been doing historic preservation all my life, and uh, it's a necessity, you know, so that our, our future uh, generations can see what was done and, and, and what it takes, you know, to do things. Um, as, as, as the years come by, Things are getting shortcut. It's unfortunate, but everything's getting shortcut. I mean, they just eliminate so many details, eliminate so many qualities uh, that, I mean, it's, 
we're, we're losing out. And if we don't save them, I mean, there won't be anything to show. There won't be anything to go back to. 